now we know why they ended their marriage so fast. Celebrities are people who are always in the limelight. Be it their die-hard crazy fans or the ever-invading paparazzi, they're extremely sought after wherever they go. People crave the glamorous life that celebrities live on a daily basis, but they hardly ever see the emotional and psychological challenges. Celebrities have to face as a consequence of the constant scrutiny their life is subjected to. Unlike common people, everything celebrities do becomes a news headline. So when they decide to get married, it becomes a bigger news than anything else. If their partner is not a celebrity, then it's not a big deal, but if their partner is also a celebrity, then it becomes a different ballgame altogether. In a marriage where both partners are famous celebrities, the pressure of living up to the expectations can be so high that sometimes marriages run into trouble as soon as they began. Here we'll look at celebrities who had the shortest marriage period ever, and they broke up even before the ink on the marriage certificate could dry up properly, so that we can say, now we know why they ended their marriage so fast. Britney Spears and Jason Allen had the shortest marriage, lasting just two days and seven hours. In one of the most bizarre marriages ever, famous pop singer Britney Spears married her childhood friend Jason Allen in a Las Vegas wedding chapel on the 3rd of January 2004. Later, Jason told the press that they wanted to get married just for the hell of it. Just after two days and seven hours on the 5th of January 2004, the marriage was ended by a judge. Cher and Greg Allman had too short a marriage, lasting just nine days. When Cher tied the knot with musician Greg Allman, it was just three days after her divorce was finalized from Sonny Bono, so she literally bounced from her previous marriage to marry Greg. But it didn't work out for both of them, and they were divorced on the 9th of July 1975, just nine days after they got married. Even after divorce, the pair had an off-and-on relationship over the years, and they had a son together. Dennis Hopper and Michelle Phillips were also married for just nine days. Michelle met Dennis Hopper in the beginning of 1970, and they were married the same year on the 31st of October 1970. However, Michelle soon realized after marriage that Dennis had some queer sexual habits that she wasn't very comfortable with, so she filed for divorce on the 9th of December 1970, just nine days after their marriage. Carmen Electra and Dennis Rodman's marriage also lasted just nine days. This was probably the most shocking and unexpected marriage that Hollywood ever witnessed when Dennis Rodman and Carmen Electra got married in Las Vegas on the 14th of November 1998. But the marriage ended soon after as an annulment was filed just nine days after they tied the knot. Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds married but got divorced in 14 days. This celebrity pair went to Bora Bora for an intimate wedding on the 1st of January 2008, but their honeymoon was spent more in arguing than cuddling. By the 16th of January 2008, the couple mutually reached a decision that they would not be continuing their relationship any further. Ali Landry and Mario Lopez were also married just 18 days. They looked like the perfect match when they got married in April 2004. But it wasn't long before Ellie came to know about the wandering ways of her partner Mario and how he had continued to date other girls even after their marriage. Ellie immediately filed for annulment of their marriage after just 18 days since they tied the knot. Ethel Merman and Ernest Borgnine's marriage was also short-lived, lasting only for a month and two days. Broadway star Ethel Merman and Oscar winner Ernest Borgnine tied the knot on the 27th of June, 1964. However, it was their honeymoon in Europe that actually doomed their marriage because the actor enjoyed more fan following in Europe than his wife, and that triggered them to seek a divorce just after a month and two days of their marriage. Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada ended their marriage after a month and 11 days. NFL star Chad Johnson's marriage to reality TV star Evelyn Lozada on the 4th of July 2012 also ended in divorce when in August in that same year, Chad headbutted Lozada in a domestic dispute. Lozada was so taken aback by the incident that she filed for divorce. Mila Jovovich and Sean Andrew were married only two months. Actress Mila Jovovich tied the knot with actor Sean Andrew when she was only 16 years of age. She did this primarily to prove that she was a grown-up girl, and once that was done, she had no intention of carrying on with the marriage and she ended it after just two months. 
Eminem and Kim Mathers could only survive their marriage for two months. Eminem and Kim Mathers were actually married two times. Their first marriage was in June 1999, but they got divorced in 2001. However, they decided to give their relationship another chance and they married again in January 2006. But the marriage only lasted two months before the couple were divorced again. Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys were also in wedlock for just two months and 12 days. Reality star Kim Kardashian had some serious doubts about marrying her second husband, NBA star Chris Humphreys, on the 20th of August 2011. However, Kim was unable to continue in the marriage for very long, and she finally filed for annulment on the 31st of October 2011, just two months and 12 days after the marriage. Lisa Marie Presley and Nicolas Cage were also married for just three months and 12 days. Elvis Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, married famous actor Nicolas Cage on the 10th of August 2002 in Hawaii. Cage, who was Lisa Presley's third husband, had only proposed to her for marriage just 10 days earlier. However, after their marriage, the couple decided to split after just three months and 12 days of wedlock. Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Esposito were married only four months. Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Esposito had a quiet marriage on the 30th of December 2006. Though the couple kept a very low profile afterwards, but internal fights did not take a lot of time to appear on the surface, and the couple decided to call off their marriage after only four months. Colin Farrell and Amelia Warner's wedding also lasted only four months. It's rumored that popular actor Colin Farrell tied the knot with American actress Amelia Warner in July 2001 when she was just 19 years of age. However, the young couple could not stay together for long and parted ways just after four months, in November of the same year. Both the celebrities, however, have denied these rumors as false and baseless till date. Kid Rock and Pamela Anderson's fairy tale wedding also lasted just four months and two days. It was indeed a fairy tale wedding when Kid Rock and Pamela Anderson took their vows on the 9th of July 2006. However, despite their best efforts, the couple who had broken off before from a previous engagement in 2003 couldn't make it work again in 2006. They finally filed for an annulment of marriage exactly four months and two days after their marriage. Drew Barrymore and Tom Green's marriage lasted for only five months and 13 days. This marriage was surely the talk of the town until it was not. The marriage was more make-believe for the world than it actually was in reality. Drew and Tom actually got engaged in July 2000 and kept spreading rumors that they had secretly tied the knot as well. However, it was only on the 7th of July 2001 that they finally had their marriage vows officially. But just five months into their marriage, Tom filed for annulment of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences between them. Shannon Doherty and Ashley Hamilton divorced after just six months in marriage. Their relationship started with a steamy two-week romance, which they decided to turn into a marriage, in September 1993. However, the steam died down soon after their marriage, and just six months after their marriage, they filed for divorce in April 1994. Jennifer Lopez and Chris Judd were also married for seven months and eight days. Judd was actually brought on board to be a dancer for J.Lo's music video, Love Don't Cost a Thing, in 2000. Judd admitted on Oprah's show that when he first saw Jennifer Lopez, it was love at first sight. And since Jennifer, too, felt the same way, they decided to tie the knot on the 21st of September, 2001. However, this love at first sight didn't last long, and the couple decided to divorce in June 2002, just seven months and eight days into their marriage. Kenny Chesney and Renee Zellweger were married for seven months and ten days. Marriage of Kenny Chesney and Renee Zellweger on the 9th of May 2005 was touted as a perfect match between two superstars. However, the country music singer and his Hollywood darling could only carry this relationship for seven months and ten days when Renee filed for an annulment of marriage on grounds of fraud by her partner. Fred Armisen and Elizabeth Moss's marriage lasted only eight months. Armisen and Moss had a whirlwind romantic relationship after meeting on the set of Saturday Night Live in 2009, and it was no wonder that they decided to tie the knot on the 25th of October 2009. However, just eight months into their marriage, Armisen decided to walk out of the relationship on the grounds that he didn't want to be tied down to one person. 
Jim Carrey and Lauren Holly's only lasted for nine months. Jim Carrey and Lauren Holly were smitten with each other after meeting on the auditions of Ace Ventura Pet Detective and decided to tie the knot on the 23rd of September 1996. And this was precisely a year after Jim Carrey had divorced his first wife. Sadly, the celebrity's desire to find love again did not bring any fruitful results, and Holly filed for an annulment of marriage in July 1997, just nine months into their marriage. Helen Hunt and Hank Azaria's marriage lasted only 11 months. Helen Hunt married Hank Azaria, star of the show The Simpsons, on the 17th of July 1999. However, after winning an Oscar for the movie As Good As It Gets, Hunt's publicist issued a statement that the pair had already separated in June of 2000, just 11 months after they'd been married. Mike Tyson and Robin Givens were married for a year. Famous boxer Mike Tyson was also married to actress Robin Givens for 11 months before she decided to file for divorce in 1987. Givens described her married life with Mike as the worst thing that could have possibly happened in her life. Katy Perry and Russell Brand were married for a year and two months. Katy Perry tied the knot with British comedian Russell Brand in an Indian wedding in October 2010. They tried to make it work, but their busy schedules didn't allow their marriage to last for long. Perry said that Russell sent her a text that he was filing for divorce in December 2011. So just a year and two months since they tied the knot, their relationship too had a sad end. Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa's marriage for a year and two months. Amber Rose actually married Wiz Khalifa on the 8th of July 2013 after dating him for two years. However, despite their such a long association, the marriage only could last a year and two months. Amber later admitted that her marriage might have survived if they dated a bit longer before getting wedlocked. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were in the news after their marriage ended after a year and three months. This is the latest failed celebrity marriage that's been the center of limelight due to the acrimonious court proceedings that have been involved in the process. Depp and Amber Heard got close to each other in 2011 while shooting for the film The Rum Diaries. Four years into their relationship, they finally decided to tie the knot in February 2015. However, despite four years of courtship, they couldn't work out their differences and Amber filed for divorce on the 27th of May 2016, just a year and three months into their marriage.